I'm Kimberly Turner from cookingwithkimberly.com and today I'm going to show you how to cook ground beef taco salad. Now if you're looking for something a little bit naughty but still a little bit healthy, this is a really great option. You could use any kind of ground meat, ground pork, ground chicken, ground turkey, uh, or you could go with a different kind of meat. You could use a steak, a fajita steak kind of meat, or you could use chicken or turkey, anything like that, okay? So today I have one beautiful head of romaine lettuce, which I've washed and taken off the ribs, and I've uh, just pulled them apart into bite-sized pieces. You want them in bite-sized pieces because you don't want things slapping you in the face when you're trying to eat off your fork, okay? Plus, you're gonna have other ingredients on here too, so make sure they're in small bit pieces. Tearing them is better than cutting them because when you cut them, you force them to break where you want them to break instead of them just breaking where they want to. The lettuce will break right between cells so things stay nice and crisp. Uh, for longer. So I just have this sitting here. I've patted it dry with clean dry paper towels and I'm just going to continue to let it dry while we're sitting here. Okay? Let's get our ground beef on our stove top. I have a large frying pan with about, I don't know, maybe a teaspoon and a half of peanut oil. And it's been preheating on a medium heat. In goes my ground beef. This is just over one pound of extra lean ground beef. If you're using beef that's not quite so lean, you're going to have to drain off the fat after you brown it. So just beware of that. Now, if you're not using extra lean ground beef, please don't season your meat yet until you drain off the fat. Then you're going to season your meat. Otherwise, you're draining off half the seasoning you added as well. So this is fine and we can start seasoning mine right away. Kids love taco salad too. It's kind of fun to twist on uh, your traditional Mexican uh, Tex-Mexy sort of meal. Kids love anything with cheese, I find. A little bit of freshly ground black pepper. If you don't have a mortar and pestle, it's a really great investment. Uh, make sure you check out shop.cookingwithkimberly.com for all your kitchen gear. But a mortar and pestle is really good bang for your buck. I use my mortar and pestle every single day, even if it's just for uh, ground pepper. And the spices are so much fresher. All right, so you're going to keep pressing your meat and breaking it apart while it browns so that you have nice, small, tiny pieces. And so it's crumbly almost, okay? That'll probably take about 10 minutes. Let's uh, season this up. I'm gonna use some ancho chili powder, which is very savory and spicy, but not in a hot spicy way, just in a nice savory kind of way. They are roasted poblano peppers that are ground up. I'm gonna use about a teaspoon of this. You can go wild with this stuff. It's not too spicy, so you're good to go. It's a beautiful, beautiful pepper. Now this is a chipotle chili pepper that I'm going to use, a chili powder and it is very spicy. It's smoky and it's hot spicy. So just use a whisper of this if you don't like very, very spicy things. In lieu of this, you can use some cayenne pepper. I'm also gonna add a couple dashes of cumin and just a pinch of oregano. Now stir that in, break that in to combine it. And while that's cooking, I'm gonna talk about the rest of my ingredients here. Now, I like to add beans to my taco salad. You could use any kind of beans you want. Kidney beans, black beans, pinto beans, you name it, okay? Today I'm using garbanzo beans because I actually had some open, and I like garbanzo beans in salads, they're fantastic. But if you don't want to use chickpeas or garbanzos, you can use any of the other beans that I talked about. I have some shredded cheddar cheese, which is pretty par for the course. I have some uh, heirloom tomatoes that I've cut into two wedges, thin, thin wedges. Now you could cut things into a nice dice um, or you could make a salsa instead, but I'm just going to lay these beautiful tomatoes on because they are, they'll speak all for themselves. Heirloom tomatoes are a very specialty kind of tomato. They have a very robust tomatoey flavor. They're nice and large, they're beautiful to look at, and they just give a little bit of extra deliciousness to things. I have a couple tablespoons of freshly minced cilantro. I'm going to add about a tablespoon of that into my salad mixture and I'm going to toss that in so that everything is sort of a little bit seasoned already. I'm also going to add some chili flakes just because I like things spicy. Toss that in too. Now you're going to serve this with hot sauce and you can serve it with sour cream if you want to. A little bit of pepper on my fresh salad too to toss with. No salt though, because it will leach the liquid out of your uh, greens and you're gonna have a soggy salad. You don't want that. Now you can also serve this with guacamole. Uh, you could chop up some fresh peppers or roast some peppers and put it on here. You could have a handful of corn thrown in with this. You know, the sky's the limit, whatever it is you like. 
uh, in your tacos. Now, as promised, this is a taco salad. So I have some um, tostada shells actually in the oven that I needed to use up. So I'm using them instead of a bag of tortilla chips, for instance, uh, or anything else. So I have that, I'm breaking those up and just heating them. And I also have a couple flour tortillas in there that just drying out so I can break them in two. I also want them to be a little bit warm when I serve it. So I'm gonna serve it around the edges and just kind of decorate it. And that's gonna be really, really pretty. So these guys are ready. The greens are nice and dressed with a little bit of this and a little bit of that. My beef looks about done. So I'm gonna turn that off and let that sit for a second until I'm ready with what I'm doing. And let's decorate. Now, I'm going to sprinkle with the beans just all throughout. In fact, you could toss these guys in if you wanted to. Beans are a great lean, low fat way of getting some protein as well. And they're high in fiber. Plus they're just tasty. Use how many you have on hand or however many you like. This is uh, all up to you. And I'm going to sprinkle the cheese all over the salad. A couple cups of cheese, I would say. But this is quite a large salad too. And this is a good dinner salad, obviously. It's a really quick weeknight meal. It's just the prep of the vegetables that is like the big deal. And that's not that hard. Plus if you don't put any dressing on this salad, uh, in the salad bowl, then you can actually keep this for tomorrow for maybe your lunch. All right, let's decorate with the tomatoes, the heirloom tomatoes. I'm leaving a space in the middle for the ground beef so people can kind of take as much as they really want to. Some people might want a bunch, and some people might want a little. And I also have some lime wedges to serve alongside. Now I'm going to sprinkle the top with the extra cilantro, or you can leave this for a little bit extra just as a garnish for people as they like. Some people really love cilantro like me. I could have a ton of cilantro and some people just want like a little bit. So don't overwhelm people if it's something just you really like. All right, my beef is done. Let me show it to you. Looks delicious. Here we go, all glistening and lovely and browned and tasty. So what I've done is I've inserted a bowl that's gonna fit my beef right into the center of the salad. This is especially handy if not everyone is eating at the same time because you can just remove the bowl and heat the meat um, instead of messing up with the whole salad, right? So I think this is a good way to do it and then everyone can grab what they want beef-wise on top of their salad and I think that's the best way to go. So let's just spoon that into that bowl. Plus it looks very festive. It almost looks like a dip. <laughs> what beautiful beef. Garnish with a nice leaf of cilantro on the top. Now I've got my chips here, it's just been heating up and I'm just going to break them and insert them around the edges of the salad. Also I'm going to sprinkle with a little bit extra cilantro over the rest of the salad here. The very top, just to make it pretty and extra flavorful too. It looks nice on the tomatoes like that. All right, so no rhyme or reason, just break these guys up however you see fit. They're nice and warm. We're ready to eat. All right, I'm going to stick the large pieces in the edges. You don't have to use perfect chips. And the rest, I'm just going to layer them in any extras. And then the smaller chips, I'm just going to scatter about on the top of the salad. This would be perfect for tailgating. It's a fun looking kind of dinner. And uh, you know, it's scoopable and stuff. It looks like a dip. It's a hearty, hearty salad. And this is my version of taco salad. So crumble the rest, and I'm just scattering them on the salad. Nothing goes to waste. And voila, look at what a gorgeous, gorgeous dinner that is. Bring that to the table and see if people aren't excited and their eyes don't bug out. Beautiful. Well, I'm gonna call everyone in here for dinner and I'm gonna tell you how this tastes in just a second. Well, we've already destroyed about half of this salad and I've already destroyed my bowl. It looked so pretty, I should have shown you, but I couldn't wait to eat. Goodness gracious, the tomatoes are delicious. These heirloom tomatoes are really, really worth the money that you pay for them. Uh, they're not only just enormous and tasty, but um, boy, they will sure brighten up your uh, taco salad or any salad. Uh, the, the crispy flour tortillas worked out just fine perfectly, so in a pinch, you're good to go. Beef is beautiful. It has a little bit of a saucy texture to it, and it kind of acts as the um, dressing of your salad. Also with the hot sauce, and I have some sour cream on here too. 
and the lime juice. And then you get some of the juice from the tomato. So you don't really need an extra dressing. You could always make a nice vinaigrette. I suggest maybe a mango vinaigrette or something like that would be very nice. I'll put a couple at the bottom, some ideas at the bottom of the screen for shows that I've done that you could use this with. Uh, that would be delicious. Uh, Mom used ranch tonight and uh, then the other people would just use nothing. <laughs> so I didn't use anything either. The beans are just right in there. They have really nice texture. They have, a, a, they are a good source of protein again and fiber. Uh, they just dress up the salad a little bit. The cheese is very tasty. It kind of makes the salad a little bit more naughty, uh, especially if you're not using sour cream. Use a little bit of cheese and it makes you happy, okay? So that's it. Nice, fresh, bright, crisp, perfect for Cinco de Mayo, great for the summer, great for like a birthday or something like that as kind of an appetizer. Everyone can kind of dig in. Uh, this is a really, really great dish. So I hope that you try it out too. This is how you cook ground beef taco salad. You're going to love this. Try it. Follow me on Twitter at Cooking with Kim E with a capital E. Like the fan page at Facebook.com slash Cooking with Kimberly. My shows are on iFood.tv slash Cooking with Kimberly. YouTube.com slash Cooking with Kimberly. You can find my channel on Roku Cooking with Kimberly. And I'm also syndicated on Apple TV. Come to my website at CookingWithKimberly.com and subscribe. Interact with us and let us know what's going down in your culinary world, all right? Be a champion in your kitchen and eat deliciously. Bye.